Hello my friends, welcome to my channel. In our previous video, I showed you how to design the 3D metallic logo. I also showed you how to use the image trace. And I also showed you how to convert your black and white photo into collage. In this video, I'm going to show you how I was able to create this flyer inside of Affinity Studio, right? With simple steps, how to manage your text and how to have this as your final output. If you've not subscribed to my channel, now is the best time to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss any of the videos I'll be throwing out any time from now. Without having to say much, let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is my size, I'm using a 1920 by 1080 pixels, please, and resolution 300. I'll be checking the ad board. Yes, I'm using an ad board for this. So as you can see, I have my ad board. As you know, I'll be switching to the vector. Right, and I'll just go jump right in and start typing what I want to type. So this is going to be finish. So I'm going to change the font to what I used. You can see I have them categorized on that recent used and favorite. All right, so I'm just going to increase this like this. And um, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, or you can press Ctrl J. Either ways, you can use duplicates inside of Affinity. Right, so I'm just going to write strong here, select my move to, and I'm just going to adjust this to fit into the same frame, just like the way I have the finish. Alright, so I have this this way. I'm going to just making sure I have space in between. Highlight the two of them and I can move them around like this and also increase the size. Alright. So I'm going to make a duplicate copy of this and uh, make it smaller. This is going to be the dates. So 10, 12, 10th of December. And make this bigger like this. Also duplicate this and have this here. I'm also going to change this. So this is going to be 4 p.m. Prompt. And uh, make this also smaller to fit the frame of the 1012 like this. Alright, good. Make this bigger. Some around here is good. Okay. So let's move on with this. I'm going to change the color to red, to red color. Yeah. So it stands out. You can see I can change the color here. So I'm just going to use this light red here. I think this is the main red color. Highlight everything and uh, move it to the right like this. I'm going over to my resource file. The link to download this is in the description of the video. So kindly use it to get the resource file so that you can practice along. All right. So place this here and make this bigger like this. So, as you can see, this object has a sharp edge. So, I'm going to um, position this well. Let me position this well first. Okay, so somewhere around here is good. So, let's get rid of this sharp edge here. So, how do I do that? Select the transparency tool. And I'm going to drag from black to white. Black conceals, white reveals. Right, so I'm just going to, um, yes, from uh, black to white like this. Then I can take this back like this. I'm going to bring this to the end of the page. Make sure it's below. It's the first object on the artboard like this. So somewhere around here is good. I'm going to adjust this, rotate this till I get the angle that I want like this. Okay, so with this selected, I'm going to move it slightly to the right. Um, I'm going to add an effect to this. So select filter and I'm going to go to glitch. Under glitch, I'm going to select scramble and I'm going to increase this. Okay, it's applying to just one. So, but that's not a problem. So make sure you're not doing too much. This is the amount, exact amount I want, right? So when I'm done, click on the X. Now, instead of me repeating the process, I will hold down Alt key on my keyboard and drag this 
and drop on the strong layer to apply the same effect to it. So I just need to open this up, double click on the glitch here and choose to reduce or increase like this very easy. Right, very easy. So I'm gonna close this up like this. You can group your layers and um, you know how we do it here. So with this one, I'm going to have some extra text. But before then, I'm going to bring in this image of an athlete. Also, check the description of this video, please, to get these images. Right, and I'm going to flip horizontal like this. Um, of course, I need to get rid of the edges. So I'm going to switch to my Pixel Studio, which is like the Photoshop inside of Affinity. Click on the mask. And the next thing I'm going to do is select my brush, click on the pen brush tool and make sure you're using my settings here to get this kind of effects that I have going on here. So gently, I can make the brush bigger manually or by just increasing it there. I'm going to chop off the edges like this and uh, like this. Make sure you aim for perfection. Very, very important. Make sure you're doing a very, very clean job. All right, so I'm going to take off the edges like this. And um, move it to the edge like this. You might want to increase the size, right? Anyone that works for you, click on adjustment and click on recolor, right? So I'm going to leave it at this red so that it matches what I have. But then I'm going to make it lighter like this. Um, okay i'm just gonna leave it like this i'm gonna drag the recolor to the image so that it doesn't affect every other thing inside of my composition so you can see i've used it as a clipping mask like this so you want to reduce the opacity and probably make it bigger like this and i just need to increase the opacity so that i can see through Right, freeze your opacity so I can see the image properly. You can even decide to make it bigger just the way you want. But I'm just gonna make mine slightly bigger like this and make sure it's at the edge. Okay, so um, this is great. I'm going to go back to my Vector Studio like this and um, select my text frame. Now, this is what I want to point out. Now, I know you've been having issues trying to remove this annoying um, text phrase, but let me copy and paste my text first. Let me show you how this is done. So I'm just going to copy this um, this is the address and I'm going to taste it here. Now, if you click out, let me space this so that I have space this out like this. Okay, I think this is good. And um, okay. I feel this is good enough. Click on the move tool and um, I'm going to click on view and make sure you turn this on see when you click out you can see that that frame is not there again it will only get active if you select it so make sure your preview mode is on to get rid of this box for the text right you're welcome so i'm going to change the font here to the font that i used and um i think it's under my favorite use something bold okay i think this works perfect so move this downwards like this and also move this downwards make sure you are on your vector mode i just switch back to vector you can have it in pixel and vector for your view it's perfectly fine but just make sure when you're working on strictly vectors make sure you put it on vector mode going to select all of this and move this downward so that i have negative space in my design right 
I have white spaces for my design to breathe. I'm going to draw another text frame, but this is going to go all the way down here. Once again, I'm going to go over to my text. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste this here. Of course, reduce the size of my font. To capture the main detail that I want, All right? I think five works for me. So I can take this back up. Probably have to move this inside. Somewhere here is good. And uh, nicely done. Okay, I'm going to use the opacity here like this. Right. Move this down just a little bit so that I can have my final text there. I think also moving this image down a little bit also works for me. Right, so this is my final text. I'm just going to have it here like this. And uh, you can see how far i have come with this uh, move this closer like this and uh, finally let's add some uh, a little bit of spice to make this pop so i'm going to throw in one last element so i'm going to go to my recess file i'm bringing this this is a light effect drag in here and drop here and immediately i'm going to change the blend mode to screen yes you guessed right so to give it this extra pop effect like this don't forget the link to download this resource file is in the description of this video alongside every other thing that you need to get inside of the description of this video including your flyer templates and every other thing so don't miss the description of this video for anything so i'm just going to space this up and at the end of the day this is what i have i'm just going to create extra space for this and uh, that's all all right guys if you found this video valuable if you've learned something great from this video make sure you subscribe and make sure you share this video share this video like this video and make sure you are subscribed to this channel okay i'm just going to add a little bit of noise to my ad board and um yeah that's how i got this effect like i said if you've not subscribed to this channel make sure you're subscribed and uh make sure you share my video and um I'll see you in the next video. Take advantage of what you have in the description of this video. All right, I'll see you in the next video. With over 1,000 premium fonts, over 100 high quality PSD flyer templates, over 700 icons, over 3,000 premium stock photos, 3,000 plus high resolution backgrounds. 1000 plus 3D and PNG assets, editable PSD templates, and lots more. If you're a creative designer, UI, UX, or web designer, the Smart Designer's graphics assets will make your life much more easier.